Hey, hey, good morning, folks. So my plan last night absolutely did not work. Um, I timed out immediately, apparently. So I don't know if that whole, like, FPS control thing was patched or something, but I'm actually kind of glad because as much as I'd like to do overnight stuff, that feels a little close to cheating. Uh, a little close to something that Jagex might not be happy with. So at least it's not intended. Um, but I did, like pull up my phone and set up the split screen thing and fish here for a little bit last night while my wife and I were watching TV and going to bed. Um, so I did enough of that to get uh, all these clue scrolls, so that was a decent amount of time, but also to get uh, Rogue's Chompy Farm to level 2 and uh, Smithing Double to level 2. So now I can probably go do Rogue's Den soon. I'm going to have this interesting cadence. Uh, when I started doing Group Iron Man, um, I stopped basically recording everything I was doing in RuneScape, so um, kind of got into a habit of me playing RuneScape while watching TV with my wife. Uh, and now that I'm recording again, I kind of need to be muted when we're watching TV, obviously. You may have heard me come off mute a couple times while the TV was still running. Um, but what's interesting is that means that when we're up and doing stuff together, like I can be doing something that's super AFK or doesn't require a lot of commentary, like fishing or um, lots and lots and lots of tithe farm and then do more attentive stuff the rest of the time. So um, I think we'll probably be alternating between going super deep <laughs> when I'm uh, hanging out with Andrea and going super wide uh, when I've got time and I get up early in the morning um, and can go do a bunch of questing and stuff like that. So what is going on? Uh, let's review. Um, I guess fishing XP now includes some of the XP that I just got since logging in, so I can subtract two minutes from it. Let me, let me try to calculate how much time that took. It's harder to tell with fishing since it's not as consistent. Uh, 4149, 896. Did I keep to this that long? I really didn't feel like I was playing that actively. I feel like I, got, I must have gotten a bit more fishing XP than I thought I was going to end up with here. 4149, 986, 393, 29. Yeah, I got like 840k XP. So I must have been doing this for like, and if I'm getting 540 average, it was like 1.55 hours. So it should be 5120 when I change the live split timer. So I still want to do family crest to get um, smithing. Well, to get the goldsmith gauntlet so that I can go buy a bunch of gold ore from Shopscape um, and then turn it into gold bars for lots of smithing XP. But before I do that, um, now that I have the rogue relic up to two, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rogue set just so that I can go back to feeling like pickpocketing whenever I feel about it. Like it, I can talk today. Uh, pickpocketing seems like it's going to be a good AFK task and quote unquote AFK. I do have a foot pedal um, and the foot pedal will let me kind of like sit in the bank and get some stream work done while I'm doing it. So that's probably the best strategy for me right now. Uh, let me go do rogue's dead. Armor looks like this place doesn't count as a bank for the purposes of changing out my relics. All right, I'll come back here in a second. Just occurred to me, I wonder if I can cheat this. If I can use last recall, give it a try. It'd be very fun if it does work. The NPC said something about um, not being able to bring anything other than that crystal. I'm like, that crystal? Uh, I don't think I can do it because I don't have five. Oh, well, it was worth checking. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> I really, really hate this place. I got knocked out about 60% of the way through. I actually don't know what mistake I made. I'll have to check again when I get there. Okay, I got one piece and I got a miscellaneous fragment, which of course is for Rogue's Chompy Farm. Uh, I'll take it, that's fine. Let's just go down the list here. I'm hoping that the 20% boost is enough that I won't ever fail but we'll see. And I failed, even with plus 20%. I would like to die. This is the first minigame I've done that's consistently given miscellaneous minigame um, fragments, like Tithe Farm almost exclusively gave farming fragments. Well, let's keep at it. So I'm looking up the whole use FBS control to Get around the logout timer. Like I said, it didn't work for me last night. I had to stay logged in, like split screened on my phone. Um, I'm glad it didn't work because there's a post here that I found saying that it's against TOS. And then I guess that there are people doing it to do the pump on the blast furnace. 
There's a way to level up strength without getting other combat XP. And uh, they got banned for it. So, yikes. Uh, if you saw me at the end of the episode saying I was going to do that, and you're like, oh my god, don't do that. That's against TOS. Just, I guess, be grateful that it didn't work. Um, I guess I assumed anything that was legal that was in um, Runelight was, was fair game. But after I woke up, I was like, I don't know. It seems like the AFK timer exists for a reason. So I will not be trying that again. I will probably do the thing where um, I take the phone to bed with me and I log out and it's probably not going to be Karam Blondes anymore. I'll probably do um, the Pure Essence Mine from now on because it's more ticks. Might change that once I get to the Tier 6 Relic and can equip a uh, Greedy Gatherer and Personal Banker at the same time. Ugh, failed again. So two out of five fails. Ugh, failed again. Getting rogue kits. This is with a 20% increase. I hate this content so much. I hate it so much. I just wanted to be over. To get two more pieces. Ah, oh, God. Failed again. I hate it so much. I think it's the worst when you need one more piece. <laughs> Each run, you're like, this could be my last run. Oh no, I accidentally clicked the world hop button. Oh, thank God. I thought it was about to boot me. I hate this so much. Please just let this be the last run. I'll never touch it again, I promise. I swear to God. I might actually do the chompy birds. If I can max out this relic, that'd probably be less miserable if I get triple kills. I would go back, I might go back to Tithe Farm to get 25 million XP. It seems like a pretty easy task, um, but I think I'll wait to do that. Like, one of the last things I do in the league, because I should be able to get a decent amount of farming XP just from planting things that I need, like uh, Ranar seeds and Snapdragon seeds. So I start working on that somewhat soon, and we'll see how much XP that ends up being worth in the long run. So I don't think that this relic is going to get used for too much. I mean, maybe it's already saved me a couple times. Maybe there were times where I should have gotten failed and it gave me a rogues piece, but... I wish it showed you. I wish you could see what number you rolled. Please, God, please just give me the piece. Find a creative equipment. Oh, thank God. It's over. Okay. Um, let's see. Trousers, top, mask, boots, and gloves now. Hey, that's a task. Equip a full rogue outfit, and so I shall. Uh, I'm going to go pickpocket the master farmer for a while. I want to try to get a ton of herb seeds and just start doing herb runs with all of the upgrades I have related to that. I have snake grass seeds yet? I don't know that I do. Not yet. Okay. Maybe I'll get some here. Hopefully I can trap this farmer too, because I can I can stay there for a while if I'm able to trap him. Grab my seed box, because I actually use that for this. I did a shitload of master farming pickpocketing on my, my main account, so I have some familiarity with this. Pickpocket chance up. Double loot pickpocketing. And then I think the other ones are just stuff that I want to level up, so stuff that would be annoying to level otherwise. Mother's well, Magic Fossils, Barbarian Pest Wars, I guess Message in a Bottle. I don't think this other stuff matters at all for what I'm doing. That should be fine. Give it a try. Should get four times loot right now, which is pretty exciting, I gotta say. My strategy here is to put the most common seeds in the seed box, just to keep them out of my inventory. But I think I have a 100% pickpocket chance here, so should be fun. I think once I have enough seeds for be able to plant everything in uh, the farming guild, I'm going to try to cover as many of these as I can. Obviously, there are some I can't do, like the trees. I'll have to get those from farming contracts or birdhouses. Um, possibly after I do family crest and uh, try to get some of the crafting relics. I really want to get those just so I can get the set bonus. Um, I might try to work on kudos for Bone Voyage, so I can start doing birdhouses. Hey, there's the Ranar Seed task. We got four Ranar Seeds, which is the dream. Go plant some of these real quick, actually. On the seed thing, real fast. And I might stay here for a minute while I, uh, like, I might keep pickpocketing the Master Farmer until some of these things I just planted um, bloom. Some of these I have to put in specific places. Pia tree, I want to grow in Letya. Um, I'm not going to be able to pay to protect. 
most of these for now. Magic tree and lumbridge, sweet corn and prif, any grown fruit tree, redwood redwood tree would be one to be good to do soon. I want to get spirit trees up and running as soon as possible, and in my house it's very convenient to have the farming cape as a... Oh, this is cool. The 50% chance to save seeds applies to when you're planting them in the planters. Didn't expect that to work that way. wonder if it also applies when you're, like, putting them down. Too bad I didn't get that to proc on the papaya. Banana sap or seed lasted forever. I got a misc fragment. What we get? Clued in. Okay. This is probably going to be getting doing master farmers and or arty knights to like 99 thieving is probably going to be the thing that I try to do when I need to be AFK later today. So I'd like to use my attentive time wisely this morning, um, but I want to get enough seed seeds that I can be running farming contracts without too much pressure. So shortly on the horizon after this family crest and then maybe trying to work on getting um, enough kudos to do bon, bon voyage. I'm gonna step away real quick to plant these tree seeds. I might actually be good to be stepped away for a little little while, actually. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm curious if CD business works twice, if it also works when I go to plant the thing. Probably not, but that would be really funny if it did. I have 99 farming and I still don't have protect your crops as an unlock. I don't think it does. I think it's just when you create the sapling. That's fine. It's still nice that I can know ahead of time how many of those I have. I like that all the boosts combined mean that you effectively get an entire herb run from a single herb patch. So I should be able to get, I should try to make prayer potions soon and just have a, a stable of those, just millions of prayer pots. So I don't have to think about it. Okay, let's do family crest. Grab some of that sweet free anti-poison. Here's how good ZMI is with um, Last Recall. I didn't have this region unlocked when I did Trailblazers. I never got a chance to use it. I still need to get my hands on a teleport that's like right next to a bank, and that's probably going to be the Varrock Medium Diary. Um, so given that I've got time for attentive stuff this morning, I might, after doing Family Crest, try to work on that sort of a thing. Oh, people have really looted all this super anti-poison. It's fine. I only need to do the one. Um, yeah, I'll see if I can do Varrock Medium. That'll make Last Recall way better. I think that's probably the best thing I can do for Last Recall right now, other than like the crafting cape, which I'm not as inspired to do at the moment. I was skilling Fragment from teleporting, and I think it all goes into Enchanted Jeweler now, yeah, if it's from Magic. Um, perfect Gold Bars. All right, I'm about to turn in Family Crest, and I'm gonna use the, get the Goldsmith Gauntlets, and then I'm gonna pop over to the Blast Furnace and Hopscape Gold Order for a little bit. I shouldn't have to do too much, but I wanna get enough. I'm gonna turn all of it into gold bracelets, and the whole purpose is just to fish for, for crafting relics. That's, I just wanna get them for the set bonuses. It's a bummer this isn't one of those stop shops that just restocks whenever you click on them again. This is probably a good reason for me to go find. I wonder if I can find a different NPC to pickpocket other than Arty Knight since I have the plus 50% boost. I'm going to look that up really quick. Coin pouch. Gnomes, maybe. No, gnomes start at way too low of a chance. How about paladins? Paladins probably aren't great either yet. Watchmen? Yeah, I surely try to do the Arduin Medium Diary. Hmm. Okay, uh, how many gold bars did I just make? 304. We'll see if that... I really hope that's enough to get some of these crafting relics. You'll give it a try. Hey, dragon on a bit. That's one of the ones I need. Let me see what that is. Dragon on a bit is what? Save dehyde armor materials. Okay, that's one of the things I need. I need a total of... I need one more thing so i don't know if i can get it from Incondo's apprentice or rumple bowstring <laughs> just the what's one of the silliest names i should be able to get rumple bowstring from fletching so i'm going to try to do some hardcore fletching for a little bit here just to see if i get uh a new relic i think i have the resources to spare to do that 
Should try to unlock Temple Trekking for bowstrings. Hmm. I just unlock stuff in Mauritania. What would that cost me? Evis Devices, Go Speak Amulet, Free Passage of Port Phasmatis, Ectophile, Temple Trekking, Avondus Flail, Dragon's Medallion. Yeah, I guess these are good examples of quests that I don't actually want to do. Yeah, okay. I'll do Mauritania too. I don't think the ones before this, I don't think any of these quests are particularly easy. I guess Ghost of Hoy and Ernest the Chicken are pretty fast, but Dragon's Medallion can be claimed from the Sage. Complete a Taste of Hope was a medium task. Okay. All right, the whole purpose of that is just to do temple tricks, so I'm going to go do temple tricks. Just a few to get a bunch of bowstrings. I was saving up for Song of the Elves and could afford it there, but I think this is more immediately useful to me. I need an easy temple trick. Bowstrings, please. I might stick at this until I get the Lumberjack set, because I think that's a task. And just get as many bowstrings as I get in that process, I suppose. Hard temple trick, which is not any more difficult. Amusingly. I mean, there's one for medium, too. Mm, I should bring um, Death Runes for the Nail Beasts, because they do drop uh, interesting herb lore secondary, which if I have the uh, the relic that makes me not consume secondary, that's basically just free XP down the line. Sandfew Serums. I'm going to go harvest my snake grass after this run, and then I'll uh, come back with Death Runes. Medium Temple Track task complete. Big fan of the farming cape just for the easy teleport. I'm so used to having trivial teleports here. Too bad Watermelon died. All right. Um, 120 snape grass from one uh, harvest. That's going to be a good amount of rare potions once I harvest this Raynar over here, which I'll come back for soon. Another skilling fragment, and of course it's Enchanted Jeweler. I guess a lot of the mystery has been removed from uh, the way fragments work now. <laughs> you just kind of max them out. There's like two-ish fragments per skill. See if there's other Temple Trek related tasks here. No, there aren't. Don't have to take the higher routes. Oh yeah, Greedy Gatherer makes this a little less annoying. Okay, there should be enough Nail Beast Nails to last me. Well, no, I probably want to have at least a full inventory so I can take advantage of the whole don't consume secondaries thing. So I'll keep killing those while I can. Hey, Combat Fragment. You know, I think I might actually want to do the Song of the Elves unlock sooner rather than later. I'm just remembering while talking to Puppet here of a, some cheese that I did in Trailblazer. Um, at least in Trailblazer, maybe it's changed. Nobody used the Charter Shop in Prif at all. Uh, and so it always had a full stock on every world of Soda Ash and Buckets of Sand. So if I can get over there and use Last Recall to bank, um, I can just stock up everything I need to get all the crafting relics that I want and get a bunch of crafting levels. Unholy Warrior, sure, I'll take that. I think that's a prerequisite for some of the set bonuses that I like. Yeah, I think that'll be my next unlock. Uh, once I get back up to 53 Renown, I might even do some of the prerequisite quests to bring that cost down, because I think there's a couple of them that I can just do trivially. I promise that like doing a tour of uh, diaries is still like on the menu. It's just, uh, I got a lot of other stuff going on at the moment. Definitely had this issue before where I just like cannot get the lumberjack thing to save my life. People talk about the lumberjack set as being like, oh yeah, that's like 20 minutes. And it's like, I've never gotten that many events. Real quick, I'm going to back out and harvest this uh, Ranar. I might actually take a break from double tracks for a second because I'm not that invested in getting the lumberjack set at the moment. Maybe if I decide to go woodcutting later, which might happen soon if I'm trying to make a bunch of bowstrings, but whatever, it's fine. So get us some... Initial prayer potions to do content. There's been some content I've been avoiding due to lack of prayer potions, so I'm less excited about unlocking Hespori now that the bucket doesn't particularly matter, but maybe I'll do it once I have the drop rate multiplier later on. I'm trying to get this last Herblore fragment to roll to. Not having luck. Make 30 prayer potions, task complete. Okay, I didn't know that was a task. I will not complain about it. All right, so I did not get the herb lore thing I was going for, which is a bummer. I'm going to try to do uh, fletching now. Try to fish for the fletching fragment I don't have. I'm going to make all the unfinished bows I've started and see if that gets me a fragment. If not, I'll go get some more wood to make some more of these, I guess. Fletch an oak short bow. And fletch a willow short bow. 
Those are both tasks and I didn't know. Let me look at the other fletching tasks real quick. I get enough points to get me into... Not from fletching alone. I might be able to justify doing like Plague City and Biohazard. Those are pretty fast. We'll see. I can also just hunt down some points. Oh, I'll get some points from this potato cactus. Um, unfortunately, I have to move fragments around, but yeah, I wish I could save a couple presets of fragments. That would make this a lot more tolerable. Snapdragon. Sure, I can do that next. No problem. Wow, that's worth three renown? No kidding. I guess I only need two more then. I feel like thieving. That's like a rando guy I can pickpocket. Hero. It's 80 thieving. Try to real quick go get... Yeah, I could try to get 71 thieving so I can do the next room of the of Pyramid Plunder since I have the scepter and I'm just totally not using it. And it'll get me some money because I just spent a bunch of money on that gold ore. I know I'm all over the place. Let me stick to what I started with. We're going to go back to uh, fletching all the bows that I have access to just to see if I can fish for a fragment. And then I'll do this so I can go unlock Prif. Oh, shit. Hey, there's a production fragment. That's what I've been fishing for. And it is the pro tips, which maybe I have enough now. Let me look. It's the craftsman. I think I might need one more. Yeah, I think I do. I think I need four of these, right? So it's grave robber, pro tips, professional, and okay. Smelting ores, smithing bars and cannonballs, crafting with leather, glass, uncut gems, pottery, battle set, spinning flax and wool, fletching logs, and cutting bolt tips is now instant. Cool. Does it apply to adding bowstrings also? It does. Well, that changes my objectives here because I was mostly doing all this other stuff to try to get access to that one set effect. And now that I have it, uh, I can try to use it, I guess, to unlock things. Um, what did I have in mind? Probably making steel bars into plate bodies and then like foot pedal alking them for money. I'll go do that in Varrock. Smithing double, right? So we need a hammer. And let's do steel bars. And let's do this for a little while. I'm going to do a waka canoe really quick, and that'll get me enough points to unlock Prif. Because now I want to use the craftsman for everything, like I can get crafting arbitrarily high, try to make a glory amulet, all that fun stuff. Basically, now that this is unlocked, there's an enormous amount of content that's unlocked as a consequence, which is quite nice. I'm holding off on doing anything like production related because of how annoying it is without this set effect. I wonder if it makes more sense. I wonder what the most like GP dense steel item is. Let me check that out. Since it's all crafting instantly, is it better to do something different, you know? You no, know, the plate body is the most cash dense. Oh well. Use this to make a bunch of arrow tips really quick to get some extra fletching XP, I guess. Oh yeah, making arrows doesn't instigrate. That's fair. Production fragment. That went to Perfletchinal, so that tells me that I have everything I can get from Fletching. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Wow, it's... does it really like giving them from making arrows? Or am I just like super lucky at the moment? I just got like three in a row. All right, uh, I was talking about going and doing a Waka canoe really fast so that I can unlock Prif and then maybe cheese the uh, charter ship with Last Recall. I'm gonna go give that a try. I can't think of too many other quests that I really want to complete solo now. It doesn't particularly matter. I guess stuff that gives like ranged XP, since range is kind of annoying to level at low levels. I'll be skipping a lot of those when I do this elf thing, but all of these I think are going to be faster to just train than to try to get, you know, maneuver the quest rewards. And I think if I unlock everything like this, it'll be easier to do tasks to get the, uh, the bosses unlocked, especially since I've mentioned that I'm not crazy invested in doing all the bosses quickly. I don't really care. It's only a handful of lower level ones that I really want to unlock because there's so much other content that's not uh, bossing. Build a Waka Canoe. Okay, now I have enough. Let's unlock L3. And I'm curious how many tasks this is going to return by itself. I think the Karend one might be the most returned since there's a bunch of tasks for like getting favor and it gives you all the favor. It probably isn't going to be that much. Oh, I have to click this new bank. Look into the stuff I can do in Prif right away to get some points. I won't have Zulcano unlocked, but I could go do the agility course, for example. Let's do a lap of it. L3, except I got no refunds. I do the Ivan Staff and the Crystal Bow Crystal Shield from the Sage. That's fine. Um, which means that 
I think if I equip Trailblazer, I can just teleport to Prif now. Let me confirm that. Plant sweet corn there. Back when we grab sweet corn seeds. I think I just have to plant it, or maybe it's harvest. So we'll find out. Prif. It's a lot of magic when you get here. All right, so I'm going to plant this uh, sweet corn and run a rooftop lap and got to double check what other things I can do. I think there's a handful of things in Prif. Like there's a couple monsters that you need to kill here. Agility course, Corrupted Gauntlet. I will do Corrupted Gauntlet. I think I have to pay to unlock it though. Um, move your house to Prif. Okay. Harvest some sweet corn. Check the health of Crystal Tree. Find every Memoriam Crystal. Counts that as a hard task. Open the Elven Crystal Chest. I should do that once I get some shards. Order a ship from Prif to Port Tyrus. I hope that doesn't that task doesn't remind people of the existence of the charter shop. The main reason I did this hilariously is for the charter ship, like more so than any of the other features of Prif. <laughs> um, yeah, I think there's some other ones that are like in Tyrannon that maybe yeah, defeat a moss giant, defeat a water fiend, defeat an elf, cook a rabbit. Okay, so. Uh, I, I will go through all of those tasks in a second, but I want to satisfy my curiosity about this uh, charter shop. So I'm going to set up last recall. I'm going to bring gold. I might need to go pickpocket for gold. I'm kind of running low. And yeah, let's do last recall, please. Blocks. This is perfect for a shopscape because, like, I don't. None of these are going to do anything otherwise, right? Not getting any XP while I'm hopping. I think that my farming cape might be the closest teleport I have to a bank right now. That might not be right. What's the task? Drift to Port Tyrus. Ah, uh, someone found out. No! Ah, uh, that's such a bummer. Well, I can cook a rabbit here, I guess. Maybe it's not on every server. Oh, there's the person who figured it out. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's just a, that's an NPC. Well, let's do the Port Tyrus thing for the task. Easy peasy. Ah, but Port Tyrus isn't touched. So we're just going to buy sand and soda ash and then teleport, deposit, and warp back, I think is the dream here. Napegrass is diseased. Um, I'm wondering if the ability to like automatically craft everything and just sell it back is the way you go. Oh, no, I need to go to a furnace, so I would be able to just do it while standing there. I don't think I need a ton of glass. I just want to get a decent chunk of it here. Pop my crafting level up a little bit. No, somebody else is here now. I want to die. <laughs> I can try to jump ahead. Maybe it was the person who was at Prif before. Sounds like with uh, Absolute Unit, you can just completely cheese the Corrupted Onlef. <laughs> you, uh, you just go and you make a full stack of food and nothing else, and you just let it kill itself off you. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I kind of want to try that. I think Gauntlet is a somewhat expensive unlock. Let me take a look. Yeah, it's 30 points. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Yeah, that'd be a really good source of money, especially with... Oh, I, I kind of want to do that. Do I qualify for Absolute Unit? I don't even know if I do. Let me uh, look that up real fast. Qualify for Absolute Unit 2, but not 4. Oh, I might know that I have Dragon on a bit. No, I don't. I'm going to need to get more combat unlocks. So I could try to go do Slayer for a bit to get combat unlocks. I kind of really want to do this absolute unit cheese. That sounds fun as hell. Like, especially just because the biggest pain of the gauntlet is, like, running around the gauntlet to collect everything. So if you just need to get some fish and then go straight in. Yeah, okay. Next, I, I know I keep changing objectives, but that's, you know, that's RuneScape for you. Uh, once I finish buying a bunch of sand and leveling up my crafting, and hopefully I can use that to knock out a few tasks, I'm going to try to grind out the renown for gauntlet to see if i can do this <laughs> absolute unit thing but before i do that i guess i have to do some slayer to get some combat drops for gauntlet so we can go do some turial tasks for a bit I'm getting a task here for 100 unpowered orbs yep there it is i'm gonna hold on to the rest of my glass now for quests uh, I will go ahead and take these out to the wilderness, though. Charge air orb is what? Yeah, it's just an air staff, cosmic runes, and the orbs. I guess I need to go get some battle staffs to be able to fully take advantage of this. Um, well, I'll go craft them first, and then I can get the battle staff. I have to, like, make the battle staff in the wilderness, but I can do that anywhere in the wilderness. 
Oh, I should try to save runes. I don't think there's anything else I can bring out there that's going to matter particularly, other than trying to save some runes. I don't know if this will let me craft all these at the same time. I don't think it will, if I have the craftsman set bonus. Worth checking. You never know. How much does it cost to unlock Lunar? Fermenic? Fermenic 2 is 38. Okay. I don't know if that's worth it. It might not be. The people killing Chaos Druids for herbs, like, who boy. Y'all, <laughs> I just got like 80 Ranar herbs from a single seed. If they increase the number of drops, maybe that would change things, but I feel like PDMing for drops is the opposite of the way to do things in this league. Now I do have to manually cast here. That's fine. Oh, you know, it just occurred to me that the profit from alking uh, air battle staves is probably nutty. Actually, I'm curious if just buying battle staves produces profit now. Just normally, it might. I might take a second to foot pedal alk here in a minute. I got all those steel plate bodies that I could do. I'm gonna make a bunch of air battle staves. Although maybe someone else has already had the idea and bought out Zaf's stock. But there is a shop that sells it in Prif, so we could just do Prif. That makes more sense anyway, I think. All that for three Cosmic Runes. It's usually the blocking thing, is not having enough Cosmic Runes to do all that. Okay, let's just buy them in Prif, just out of abundance of caution here. I think that's probably smarter. Um, that might be the better shop to try to camp at. I can just straight up buy a Rune Scimitar here. And I probably will, because I need one. There's a lot of useful vendors here. I know the rune shop here is way more convenient than literally anything else. I should get a bunch of dice, just because they're super annoying. I wonder to what extent I can just camp this guy. No one's bought his battle staves. And they alk for 4,200. And I think Alchemaniac is 50% more gold. Okay, so it would be profit, but it would be like 200 gold per staff, so... Not enough profit. It does make the air battle staves significantly more attractive, though. So real quick here, let me grab air orbs. I'm going to make a couple of these in the wilderness. Oh, I need crafting 66. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. What's my best pathway to that? I might go see what sandstone mining is like. I'm all over the place today. I have no plan, obviously. Um, if I do sandstone mining... I gotta spend gold to get it out, though. Basically, I need gold. Let me, uh, I'll foot pedal Alk for a minute and see where that gets us, I guess. So we need Alchemaniac. I don't think I need any other things equipped here. Just stuff that I want to level up, I guess. Oh, right, this doesn't count as a bank. God damn it. Alchemaniac, and then there are no set effects that affect alchemy, as far as I know. So I don't think I need to grab anything else, but let me double check. Yeah, I don't think so. So... I'll just equip things that I would like to level up that it would be annoying to level up otherwise, like the minigame ones. Okay, um, 104 steel plate bodies. What else do I have? I thought I had way more alkables. I must be thinking of something else. Well, I could always go back to using up my steel. I still haven't tried the rogue outfit on Arnie Knight, so you might see how that stacks up in terms of like GP per hour to Alchemaniac steel plate bodies. 187k, that's pretty fast. Uh, I'm gonna pop over to Arty Knights just to see how quick it is, and I might stay until I get to 71 so I can go get some more points at Pyramid Plunder. Pretty close to that anyway. I think I can probably do the Arduin Easy Diary now. I should look into what all would go into the Arduin, Arduin Hard Diary. That was interesting. I got a skilling fragment, but it's like I've been maxed on thieving fragments for a while. I guess it was just a coincidence that I never got one from the Master Farmer. GP right here is pretty good. Could be a little bit better, but it's pretty good. Um, this kind of makes me want to get to 85 so I can pickpocket um, elves, which are still going to be a pretty frustrating pickpocket rate, but the fact that they won't be able to damage me is going to be really nice. Uh, that might be worth waiting until I have the triple drop rate modifier. I think that applies to the Eternal Teleport Crystal. But uh, that, for, I guess I'd like to have a crystal to start with. And then the second crystal and onward, I can just turn into crystal shards. I think that's the most efficient way to get crystal shards by far. Especially if I end up pickpocketing four of them. Basically do whatever I want with them at that point. And they have a decent amount of gold drops. Okay, I'm going to Farming Guild to... 
uh, harvest stuff. I'll probably make some potions, some more prayer potions, and I'll figure out what I'm doing next. I'm all over the place. I gotta pick something. It might be diaries. I really should just do my diaries tour. It's a lot of renown. I was talking about trying to get the gauntlet unlocked and doing this absolute unit cheese. I think I want to do that. However, I need to get absolute unit four unlocked. So I think the best way to do that is just do Slayer and see if I get some combat fragments to drop. So that might be something in the immediate future. Oh, apparently I've had the alchemist available this whole time. It's weird that they split craftsman into craftsman and alchemist. I feel like that would just be one side effect, but whatever. I'll make sure I equip it here. 288 snape grass from a single patch. That's pretty funny. This is much faster. I should have been doing this before. Oh, that's nice. Mixala just applies to the whole stack at once. Wouldn't have seen that coming. Yeah, that's great. Big fan of that. Okay, I'll just keep doing that. Just keep trying to make prayer potions. I want to do a diary tour. What does that all involve? You are doing easy. Let's start with that, I guess. I think herb lore is so much easier to level now. Oh, I should go get the... Uh, I didn't even realize I hit 58. I should go get the herb sack. I was going to say, herb lore is so much easier to level now. Go grab that while I'm thinking. Um, but I should probably put my lamps on Slayer, because I think Slayer is going to continue to be the most annoying skill in the game. Slowest skill. Normally it would be definitely put it on herb lore. Especially since Slayer is bound to combat, and I think that although there's some decent combat relics that Gathering on the whole was made significantly stronger than combat this time around. So yeah, I think all lamps I get from this point forward are going to go to Slayer. I right, the herb sack. Done. And then I think the only other thing to buy, except for the other thing, is grape seeds. So I'll try planting some grape seeds. I've never done it before. I don't know if they need to be protected. I don't even know if I'm going to use this herb sack, to be honest. I'm trying to think of the situation where I might. Maybe a specific Slayer task. Hatch must be treated with saltpeter. What? All right, that's fine. I don't need to do it. While I'm running around questing, I think the ideal is to have Arcane Conduit um, and just generally Trailblazer unlocked. Fortunately, I think everything related to Trailblazer is maxed out, except Unholy Warrior. I'll take that. That's fine. Keep Mother's Magic Fossils, and I'll try to get another mini game thing on here. Sweet Corn's ready to harvest in Prif. Okay. I think I just need to do one tick of harvesting to get that, so I can run over there really quick. Pretty sure it's pronounced Privethenus, but I'll just say Prif. I feel like an ass saying Privethenus. Yeah, this is definitely a situation where it's kind of annoying when you're doing complementary activities like farming and herbal or just keep swapping uh, relics. It's just it's a pain. Harvest some sweet corn in Prif. Okay, very cool. Go fishing on the fishing trawler. Probably really work on base 50 soon. You know, it might even make sense to put some lamps onto ranged, just because I don't really have a lot of other ways to get ranged up, and it's so slow until it's higher level and can do more damage per tick. So um, I might do this set of easy lamps on there. That might seem like a waste. I'm sure someone's going to be screaming, because I'll just be able to AFK uh, range at some point and not Slayer. But I think once I get the next relic, I'm able to pick my own Slayer task, and that should make Slayer quite a bit faster. I'm not having to deal with bad tasks ever. So I was thinking about trying to get to base 50. That might be the way to go. All right, I'm going to think about doing that. I really should try to just sit down and get all the fragments that I'm currently missing. I guess many of those come from Slayer, so maybe after this uh, diary is complete, I can do the Slayer thing I was talking about, just to try to pick up all the combat relics that I'm missing. I think I pretty much just need Imkondo's Apprentice, Just Druid, Plank Stretcher. Oh no, there's actually a few more production things I need. Okay, it's fine. Oh god, can I turn off the swaying, please? Oh, this gives construction XP. Just the XP drops might give me a chance to get Plank Stretcher, which is nice. I'm gonna minimize what I'm wasting on leveling construction. That might be the plank thing. Let's see. Yeah, plank stretcher. I'm glad I got that without actually using a significant number of plate planks. But everyone gives up as soon as their contribution maxes out. It's funny. All right, fishing trawler complete. Keep going with this diary thing. I might see what goes into the medium Varrock diary so I can get that GE teleport that's super close to the bank. Complete a fishing trawler game. Beautiful. No angler. 13 manta rays, though. 
Okay, back to diary progress. Uh, identify sword. Let me get off this high population server too. Task complete. Easy Ardu and Arduin diary. Hanes me to put this on a combat skill, but I think it just makes sense to do range because everything else on this board I can do easily, like, other than Slayer. 44 ranged. Want to do Arduin medium? That would be what? Light and Journey, Hand in the Sand, Watchtower, Sea Slug, Tower of Life. Should we skip any of these? Let's take a look. I guess Bone Voyage is done for free. If I do Champions, I might do that because getting the Kudos is going to be annoying otherwise. I don't really care about the rewards from either quest. Um, I'll use Smith Dart so that I can actually do Tourist Trap. Edgar's Ruse is pretty cheap. I may as well start looking for the ones that are like dirt cheap. This ruse gets me a Trollheim teleport. If I do the Fossil Island thing, I need to make Clockworks, which if I recall correctly are kind of annoying. But I should go ahead and get it started because I'm not using, I'm not doing any hunter training at all at the moment. Yeah, this is fine. I'm getting an SP at a bang. Man, am I ever like losing track of what the hell I'm doing. I thought I was going to go do Slayer at some point. Whatever, it's fine. Saves me some trouble. Let me remind myself what I need to make the bank on Fossil Island. Fossil Island, ATM camp, where's a hammer? I think I might have a lot of this stuff, hold on. Oak planks, I do have enough oak planks. Iron bars, tinder box, logs, I don't have the soft clay. Buckets, five planks. Try to get some dig site pendants. Um, I gotta clean fines. I guess I end up having to do that anyway, which is kind of annoying. Since that's a pretty big source of your kudos for Bon Voyage, but whatever. Crap, I need a hammer for this and forgot to bring one. So I like just having Last Recall available, because it was the main thing it helped with was situations like this where you just happen to forget to bring something. And like it happens so often, and uh, when you have to remember to equip Last Recall, it's not really doing you that favor very much anymore, is it? Might bring myself to do uh, Monkey Madness. Dragon Scimitar would be nice if I start working on melee, and I'm already at 60 attack, so... So now that Dragon Slayer's done, I could buy a Rune Plate Body. Probably should go hard on clues at some point. The emote clues are just really demotivating when you don't have a million stashes built for all of them. Travel to Fossil Island it is itself a task. Build a bank on Fossil Island. Oh my god, how many tasks are here? Okay, um, first things first. Let's do Greedy Gatherer and get like a million billion kajillion fucking volcanic ash so that I can make ultra compost and stop living this life of no ultra compost. I hate not having it. I have to build the, yeah, fossil table. It might make sense to do some solucept cutting for fossils. Let me remind myself real fast. Volcanic ash, what are the breakpoints for mining? 78, 82. Okay. I'll just do the triple gatherer. It's fine. Oh, god damn it. That doesn't count as a bank? Oh, god. I gotta come all the way back here. That blows. Well, I guess I have the bank built, so I will... Hmm. I think what I want to do. Let me get my workshop set up, I guess. So I need four oak planks. I'm gonna have to get some oak planks. Okay, shit's getting a little wild here. It helps to sometimes say out loud what the hell I'm doing. Um, I'm way off course of what I was talking about doing before, but I would like to get birdhouses running so I can get free um, hunter XP and a shitload of it at that. Uh, I would like to get a bunch of volcanic ash. I would like to hunt around on um, Fossil Island for tasks to complete because I think there's a good chunk of stuff to do there. Uh, I'd like to make a dig site pendant so I can get back there in a less stupid way. Crafting table, molten glass. What else do I need for... Clockwork is a steel bar, and I need four of them. Okay. should probably, like, actively train construction soon, because there's a lot of value that I'm currently not enjoying from it. I need molten glass too, don't I? And a saw and a hammer would help. Start with teak birdhouses, it looks like. I can harvest those in, um, Prif, I think. Clockwork mechanism. We'll get some teaks. I just have an enormous amount of stuff I can do right now, so <laughs> I probably should be more careful announcing what I'm doing, but it might be fun to, to hear me like flail about as I come up with an idea and then completely abandon it almost instantly. I'm not going to need personal banker for volcanic ash, so I probably just want to take something else that I want to level up. Probably Mother's Magic Fossils. Um, barley seeds. 
I have plenty of, wonderfully. Okay, and I, I really am gonna have to get a Dixite Pendant. Um, I'm gonna do this one round of things where I make four birdhouses and then, I guess there's actually a lot of stuff I can do. I can do birdhouses, I can cut a slice up, I can kill the deranged archeologist, I can um, get volcanic ash, you yeah. know. I'm going to spend a little bit of time on Fossil Island just to get some renown back. I'm banking on the idea that skipping all quests isn't going to be that expensive. Uh, not all quests, but skipping a lot of quests isn't going to be that expensive in the long run in terms of renown left over in the end game for me to start unlocking bosses. Hopefully that ends up being true. We'll, we'll see, I guess. I only really need to stay on these ash piles until I have like, probably over like 150. That should get me through some early volcanic ash, and then I'll probably come back here and do it more consistently once my mining level is a little bit higher. Seems like this place is pretty dead, so I might AFK um, ammonite crabs, actually. I can do that for quite a while, too. Does this chest count as a bank? It does. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um, shit, I want greedy gatherer. Oh, I missed pet the museum camp dog. Pet the dog, goddammit. The most important achievement. Lock every destination in the mycelium network. Uh, it seems worth doing. Should try to start planting um, giant seaweed. I think that's going to be way faster than shopscaping just because of Great Greedy Gatherer. Herbivore will be nice. I should be able to unlock that pretty quickly because of how crazy birdhouses are. Okay, so the tricky part is that when I don't have any diving equipment, it's annoying to get... The seeds, but I guess I'll be able to use the seed effect. Seed saver. Rake these while I'm down here, I guess. Need to get a rake out anyway. I'm gonna wait one round of oxygen to see if some spores spawn, and if they don't, I'll go set up these other two birdhouses and then come back. I think I should probably do lunar diplomacy autocomplete. Um, then I guess I could, that might change the shopscape math, because if I can super glass make at the merchant and then sell the things back to them, that might be a little bit better. We'll see. If I wanted to get Lunar Diplomacy, that's uh, Fremenic 2, which is 34 points. A lot of points. All right, the luckiest seaweed spore spawn. Um, let's see if my seed saver thing applies to both of those. Hopefully I can switch fragments out at the, the bank up here. That would be really convenient. Please let me get away with this. Manually make some ultra compost here. Quite nice. Make sure I have that set to notify me when it's ready to pick up. And on bird houses too. And I saved one of the seaweed spores, so I'll be able to do this one more time without having to wait underwater for them to spawn again, which is wonderful. Big fan of that. Yeah, harvesting fragments. I haven't finished slash and burn. Take it. I'm gonna kill the uh deranged archaeologist real quick, because why not? Oh yeah, shit. I still have left click turned off. Hold on. Luckily didn't get insta jib there. Got to switch to my magic damage boosting thingy or my uh, rune saving yikes all right well just one kill it scared me i didn't have to unlock this guy that's how bad of a boss he is could have at least made him cost like five or something or one renown just to demonstrate what a joke he is worth it medium combat task made to the swamp okay should try to get 50k c on him because i bet i'll be the only person on the server who's done it there's like no reason to at all to die here Wow, I just barely survived. Well, actually, I'm dropping mud runes is relevant. I remember there's a quest that requires mud runes. I forget which one it was. Okay, it might be time for me to fix my bank. It's really bad. Um, I'm going to switch over to my main really quick just so I can remind myself how my bank is oriented. Oh, right, I need to just switch worlds. God, I'm so used to having teleports to everywhere. <laughs> okay, I'm just over here to take a screenshot of my bank real quick. I think I'm going to buy everything from this league. This is the first league where I like all of the assets they've added and will use basically all of them. Screenshot of that, putting it in another monitor, and I'm going to switch back to leagues. And It's XP waste, but it's starting to get unbearable how badly organized it is. I'm going to pop over to the uh, wise old man really quick in Drainer to get him to clear out some of my obvious junk. Snapdragon harvested. Really hope I get some good tree seeds from these contracts. 
Magic tree. Uh, that's not happening. Potato cacti. That is dead. That sucks. Okay. I don't know if I lost that seed last time either. Is Torstal a step? I feel like Torstal show up a couple times on the list. We're Torstal from the herbivore. That's all. All right. Well, I'll just plant the radar then. Still have the potato cactus seed from CD Business. Thanks, CD Business. Back to sorting my bank. Okay. What are we doing here? I can afford to do Gnome 1 now and grab that Dragon Scimitar. I think I will. And then I don't know what I'm doing after that. I might actually, maybe it makes sense to AFK at uh, Ammonite Crabs for a bit. Try to get some combat drops so I can get the uh, absolute unit unlock. Very cool. Bank is much cleaner now. Oh shit, I have to remember to turn placeholders back on. Whoops. All right. I get something for going into the Theater of Blood. I kind of want to check. Probably not. Oh, I have to unlock it. Okay, makes sense. Okay, grabbing Dragon Scimitar real quick, and then I might see how uh, AFK Ammonite Crabs works. They didn't give me a monkey speak amulet. I don't remember if there's something I have to do to get that back, or if I can just, maybe I can just buy it without having to think about it. 100,000 coins. Equip a Dragon Scimitar and equip a Dragon Weapon. Neato. All right. Oh yeah, dig side pendant. Let's do that, I guess. So I'm not fully cleaned up yet. Um, yeah, I've got some random garbage in this tab that I still need to move around. Do that now, I guess. Hey, there's my clean necklace. That's all I came here for. You now make enchanted ruby necklaces. Boy, howdy, will I ever. I guess it's probably faster to just clean the rest of these fines, so I'll do that real quick and then we'll get out of here. All oh, right, Dickside Pendants, that's exciting. Um, let me make sure I have the appropriate stuff for birdhouses and seaweed here real quick. I probably should have thought ahead and brought different logs for the next tier. I'll do teaks for two rounds, that's fine. Ooh, Harvesting Fragment. Probably just Chinchompers, right? Chinchonkers. I think... Is there only one Hunter Fragment? I think pretty much every other skill has at least two. Interesting. 44 Hunter feels pretty good. I'm almost base 40. I just gotta get my Slayer up. All right, Dig Site Teleport set up. I should get a task completion for unlocking this. Fully unlock the Mycelium Transportation System. All right, I'm gonna take a stab at um, AFK and Ammonite Crabs for a little bit after I get this giant seaweed. I might just stay until the next set of birdhouses are ready and then I'll go do something else. They look pretty open though, that's quite nice. Crazy giant seaweed run here. I'm gonna have like almost 300 from a single harvesting run. I'll have to wait and get some more seaweed spores. That's enough seaweed for 1,968 soda ash. So maybe my whole plan about, I'm gonna hopscape in Prif. It's not even worth it. I'm just gonna go mine some sand and like I can get the gold. That's not even that big of a deal. Yeah, I think that's a good strategy. I think I should just do that. Um, go ultra compost this stuff here. Try waiting down here until my oxygen runs out, and then I'll go up and melee some dudes. Okay, I'm just gonna do ammonite crabs here until uh, my birdhouses become ready. I might still unlock Hespori. Um, it'll be a little bit more reasonable now that I have the dragon scimitar and if I can sit here and level some combat stats for a bit. The main reason I'm doing this is. <laughs> Whoa, sorry, I had to cough really bad. main reason I'm doing this is I'd like to get some uh, combat relics, namely some melee combat relics to unlock absolute unit for potential cheese at the gauntlet. I love the idea of just going into the gauntlet and just like letting the boss kill itself on you when spamming food. Um, that would be basically a source of infinite money. If I get the F-bow, that would change everything, obviously. I wouldn't want to farm it too much until I have the triple drop rate um, relic, which or yeah, tier, which is the next tier. But it would certainly inspire me to do that if if it the experiment works. Try to get a rock crab or something to reduce my health for that effect on this one. I'm gonna drop my equipment for a sec to see if it makes me take enough damage to get my health down here. We'll see. Probably not. They don't really hit very hard. Here's a combat fragment. That's why we're here. 
I wonder if the chance for it to drop has anything to do with the like hit points of the mob you're killing. It would make sense. So you couldn't just go murder chickens, right? That would make these guys pretty good for filling out your fragments or maxing them out. Unholy wizard. I might go try to, since these guys don't seem to be hitting me really, I might go try to lower my health on uh, one of the like funguses over here, zygomites I think they're called. I'm trying not to get myself killed in the process, but that's probably fine. That should be out of range of getting one shot by these crabs. Really need to get some of the prayer relics. I don't know what the best way to go about trying to pursue that is. It might be once I get my stats high going and fighting green dragons for a little bit and just offering them at the Lodi altar until I get the one that auto buries bones. The seaweed's ready to harvest, so I'm gonna go do that, and I'm pretty close to birdhouses becoming available. Might head out and uh, mine some sand. I've given myself a lot of extremely AFK things to do, so when I'm watching TV with uh, Andrea later, I'll probably just bounce in between all of those. Um, there's still a lot of active stuff I'd like to do, like unlocking diaries and the like, but this is okay for the moment. God damn it, I completely forgot to get my relics respect. What a waste. Oh, that was a very small amount of giant seaweed because I'm a, a big old dummy. I really hope that they iterate on this and next time a lot of these are just permanent. Like, I talked about this a little bit, but I, I think the way I would do it is I like that you have to slot them temporarily and that while you have them slotted, um, you know, there's opportunity cost as to which ones are leveling and the like. But... I think ideally the final form of this would be that anything that's not an opportunity cost type thing or contributing to game balance, like a like a combat relic, once it reaches level three, it becomes a permanent effect. And if you have multiple permanent effects that contribute to a set effect, that also becomes permanent, right? I think that's completely reasonable and not at all broken because of the thing I was talking about earlier where like you, you're never going to be, I don't know, smelting ore and burning logs at the same time just not the way the game is structured. Hey, I got to save that seaweed spore. It's doing work. Go get some maple logs real quick for this next round of birdhouses. Oh hey, use a dig site pendant to teleport to Fossil Island. I didn't know that was a task, but I will take two Sages Renown. I think if I do my diary tour, that should be a good chunk of Sages Renown. I might do his spory next. I guess I haven't gotten any of his spory seeds yet, but probably implies that I should start doing longer herb runs instead of just doing the one in the farming guild. I can afford to do that. I guess I was hoping to do a bunch of AFK master farmer pickpocketing. Well, not AFK, but um, foot pedal master farmer. I'll do that tonight when I'm hanging out with Andrea. And then I'll have a million seeds and then it'll be a lot easier to just do whatever amount of farming I want. Right now I'm just kind of doing subsistence farming. It's mahogany. It'll be the next tier. It'll last me all the way till you. Uh, I think right now I'm gonna go do Slayer, actually. Let me um, manage the patches in the farming guild real quick, but then I'm gonna go do Slayer. Or Soul. Sure, why not? Out of potato cactus seeds. Oh, good, and plant a cactus seed, because I think that's a task. Yeah, I'm gonna go on a quick tour to. Um, it's my words here. I'm gonna go on a quick tour and plant Ranar seeds everywhere now that I have lots of ultra compost. I'll probably end up doing the same with snake grass at some point. I actually have to do some stream maintenance right now, so I'm going to try to pickpocket for a minute. Then I was going to go plant ranars everywhere. Oh, hey, I got a miscellaneous fragment. That's fun. Glued in. I'll take it. Lovely. You sleep okay? Sounds like something Andrea would do. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was off mute. Hey, that was my wife waking up.
Okay, I just finished my stream maintenance. I'm going to go do some Slayer. Hopefully get some more combat uh, relics to drop. Knock on wood. <coughs> no, I know I said I was going to plant Ranars, but I will do that later. Oh, hey, combat level 75. That's cool. I think that affects which Slayer Masters I can get tasks from, which gets me some League tasks. Hey, he's got a combat fragment. That's nice. What is it? Bottomless Quiver. That's a really good one to get, and I think it might be a prerequisite for Absolute Unit. I'll double check. I'm trying to bury all the bones I get, even though it's annoying just to try to get a prayer. If I, if I can get the prayer relic that makes it so bones auto-bury, it'll be easier to get the other perk books. want it so bad. So bad. I do have it on my main account now. You did remember that well. Yeah, because that's a good one. It is. Hey, there's another combat fragment. What's that? Oh, points in Venom Master, which maybe means that I have all the ones I can get with melee. I guess we'll find out. I'm not sure about how that works. Apparently one of the things for Absolute Unit is Rune Escape, uh, which is the one where you can get better runes with ZMI. So I might go do that after this Slayer task, just to see if I can fish for that specific one. Use Last Recall and just pop back and forth to it. Sounds great. Okay, so I'm going to see what my next Slayer task is, and then I'm going to gear up with Last Recall to do some um, ZMI, just to see if I can get that relic. 39 Dwarf, that was the mean Slayer task. That one in Elves, feel inappropriate. All right, I've started the ZMI grind. I'm probably just going to do this until I get the Rune Escape. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Considering unlocking Sins of the Father here, because I think it only costs 9 after having already unlocked uh, Mauritania 2, and then doing Day Alt Essence, I think I can get a shitload of Day Alt Essence with um, the Gatherer Relic, uh, and then I'll come back and do this a little bit faster, so I think I am going to give that a shot. Let me um, work back out for now. Complete Sins of the Father, complete Vampire Slayer, apparently. I guess I probably could have done that one a little bit more quickly. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go do Day Alt Essence for a little bit. Seems like a good strategy. It's got a miscellaneous fragment. Uh, it is clued in again. Okay, we'll get that to 2000 soon at least. Okay, apparently uh, you need to get the Vire Noble outfit back manually. So I'm gonna go do that. I might also grab the Blisterwood Flail. It looks like there's nobody fighting Virewatch Sentinels right now, and that is likely a better source of AFK than um, Ammonite Crab, so I might swap to that soonish. But I'm going to try to go get this Noble outfit because I need that to redeem my shit. I accidentally got exactly the number of shards I needed for the task to turn them into Essence. Uh, convert 2,000 Day Alt Shards into Essence. Task complete. Probably going to do some Hallowed Sepulchre. I have I've done it like one time on the live server, so it I would have to learn how to do it, but it seems like there's a ton of League tasks locked up behind it, and I have the Grave Robber Relic maxed, so that might be coming up uh, in a little bit. But for now, I'm going to go and um, go back to ZMI. Also a task to craft a rune using Day Alt Essence, so that's another one done. Very cool. Hoping this is the ZMI fragment. It is! Rune Escape. What a funny name for a fragment. I will equip that because I'm currently doing ZMI. That's what I came here for, but I may as well burn through all of the Day Alt Essence that I gathered, so I'm gonna keep doing that. Another production relic. I think this is just gonna go to one of the two I have, right? Yeah, Rudy 2D 2X Runies. Although that did level it up to level two, which is impactful, so. Rudy 2D 2X Runies indeed. I'm going to quickly go do um, Death Runes because I think having unlocked Elf 3 means that I can get in there. So I'm going to pop over to the Abyss real quick and we'll keep doing this cheese. Okay, I just got Craft 50 Death Runes as a task and it turns out the XP here is way worse than ZMI. So I'm just going to go back to ZMI. But it was worth checking.
Just got craft 2,500 estrogens into runes. Uh, that's a good task, and that's probably going to be my point to stop for now. I'll hold on to the remaining day health essence. I think the next time I'm going to get a task is going to be like 75 rune craft. Um, as for what I'm doing next, I think I'm going to try to fish for some tasks here. So I really want to try this this gauntlet cheese of just reflecting all the damage on the Hunlef and seeing how fast you can win. Um, so in order to do that, I need points. I think I need, let me review really quick, uh, 30 points and I have 16, so I need 14 more. So I'm just going to run around and do a handful of things. I'm going to go do Pyramid Plunder and I'll look through my task list to see what's available. It's got Pickpocket a Hero. I've decided I'm going to do this plus eight skill boost and just see what it lets me do. Uh, I didn't appreciate, because I'm a stupid person, that I could have been using this to do the uh, Arduin rooftop course for some time now. So I guess I'll do some laps of that because I'm pretty sure that's a task. Okay, that's enough points to unlock the gauntlet. I'm going to go ahead and unlock it, and we're going to try to see how good this cheese is. And I don't, it might be problematic because my hit points aren't high enough. I might go in there and get like wrecked pretty quickly, but I am excited to try it. So the current objective is go do the gauntlet uh, with absolute unit equipped and just let the boss beat you up. Like, don't make any armor, don't make any weapons, just make a bunch of food and let the reflection slowly kill the boss. We'll see if it's effective in normal gauntlet. If it is, I'll do it in the corrupted gauntlet. Oh my god. Okay, I finally found a room with fish in it. See, I've never gone this long without fish in the gauntlet before. Um, yeah, so the strategy is you don't fight the boss. You just go in with the ability to reflect damage onto the things attacking you, and you bring a full inventory of food, and you just see if the boss dies off of hitting you. Uh, I don't know if it'll work, but I'd love to try it, and if it works, then I'm probably going to stay here for a while because I can get so much money and the, uh, the F-Bow would be an extremely hype drop if we got it. So if I can't get it, it will be kind of a waste of points that I could have better used on, on like Zalcano or basically anything else, but it's, it's too cool of an idea to not give it a shot. All right, we're officially giving this a try. I don't know if standing on the tiles counts as damaging the boss or, or same thing for the, um, let's see if the hurricane hits the boss here. I can't really tell. Might still need to dodge things. We'll see. I'm worried that I'm not gonna have enough food for this. I guess it's. I should be able to calculate how much food I would need, right? Because it's based on my health that's getting reflected onto it. So if the boss has 600 health, yeah, and getting hit by environmental stuff doesn't count, it looks like. So I can't rely on that. I have to be able to heal 600 health of damage. Each paddlefish heals 20. It's going to be close. I think it might work. I don't know if it's going to work on Corrupted Gauntlet because it has more health, but this is extremely interesting. Probably works better when you have a little bit of health buffer from having 99 HP, which I don't have. But So it's interesting that you still kind of have to do the fight. Like, you can't just completely ignore all of the mechanics, like the, the floor effects. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to beat it this time, but I think this is possible. You do need to bring basically all of the food... And it's not a matter of just standing still, so it might still be worth, like, crafting a, a easy bow really fast. But it will make the fight significantly easier, so I, I am going to give it another shot here. Okay, so the objective this time is I am bringing in a tier 3 staff. That'll be the only thing I make. And I am going to attack the boss the whole time. I might do the thing where you can switch off to the other attack style by just unequipping your weapon and punching it in the face. Um, curious to see how much effort this is compared to the real run. It's already less effort, and that getting fish is, you know, easier to do. But my magic level isn't as high as it could be, which is, I guess, part of the problem. I might try picking up chain magic. Okay, that totally worked. <laughs> and I just got a shitload of achievements for it. Uh, my achievements, I mean league tasks. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Complete the gauntlet. Complete the gauntlet in eight minutes. One master combat achievement. Defense doesn't matter if we're not making armor. An elite combat achievement. Eggnail diet, wolf puncher. Fucking cool. Okay, so I might want to go see what all it would take to get the healing ability. And or... Let me see what I got from the chest first. Elite Clue Scroll is cool. Big one that I'm going to want from this is going to be gems, because you get a shitload of gems out of this. 
Um, I'm going to try Corrupted, but I want to see if there's any Relic combination that I can do to make this a little bit easier, like Chain Magic or Draken's Touch or something. I don't know how much overlap there is with my existing setup here, so I'm going to take a look. This is probably going to be worth it. 12 Sages Renown, even just to like refund the cost of unlocking this place, you know? Um, okay, so Filters, let's try Draken's Touch, which has no overlap, unfortunately. Unholy Wizard might be good. How about Chain Magic? Chain Magic is maybe possible. I think it only requires two as well. And I can use Unholy Wizard for it. Oh no, it doesn't have any overlap. It was the Magic Fossil's ability. Shoot. Okay. Well, in that case, what all can I take? I don't think I can poison this ball. I, I should try it. Wouldn't it be funny if I could poison it? Oh, I guess I already had it. Never mind. Um, should probably be Unholy Wizard anyway just so I can get a little bit of extra damage out. This is going to be much harder on the Corrupted Gauntlet, so I'm going to give it a shot. Let's try a Corrupted Gauntlet. Probably be good to get back in the habit of doing this, because I need to do this on my main anyway. Here comes Corrupted Gauntlet. Let's see how horribly this goes here. I need to be healing more. Okay, so I got it to like 433 health, so it's significantly more difficult than Corrupted. I might have to do the fight more for real. And namely bringing um, a tier 3 staff and maybe even a bow. But I think I can still, still skip the armor. Uh, we'll see. I wonder if I can like jankily train ranged in here because the weapon's really, really high quality. Has a really high max hit. Let me look it up here. Yeah, it's 138 range strength bonus. It might be funny. Come in here or the regular gauntlet and then just like kill all the enemies in here for <laughs> ranged XP. I might give that a shot. I'm curious. It should be pretty easy to make a bow, because I always get a weapon frame with the one that I kill, the boss that I kill. All right, I'll give it a try. I went better that time. I did die to making an actual mistake. I'm considering now if I can do Redemption Cheese. Heals you when damage and health falls below 10%. Yeah, I think if I make maybe a couple prayer potions and try to use them for healing, I think they're more dense than the um, than the food. So let me try to do that. I'm going to try bringing in four potions and rest food. And I'm just going to try not attacking again, because I'm wondering if just the extra healing from redemption is going to be enough to push the boss over the edge here. I want to try really hard to get at least one clear here, because I think if I get one clear, it's going to be worth a ton of points, since I'll be doing it with no armor. OK, got a good setup here. Uh, Good as it's gonna get, I think. Really interested to see if this works. I see a lot going wrong with it, but I'm interested to try. Set that as my quick prayer, I guess. Okay, so I think this is actually going to totally work because I think the boss gets to roll a higher damage when it does it. Um, I still need to bring some fish. I don't need to know if I need to bring that much fish, but I gotta practice this a little bit. I think you can actually go through it relatively quickly. Um, yeah, this is just going to require some practice because it's not like anything I've done before. So I think the trick is that you you just redemption most of the damage and you don't ever attack the boss because you got to focus on the redemption part of it. Yeah, so this time I'm just going to skip making the weapon because it was looking like the damage from redemption might cut it. I will still fill my inventory with food. You may as well. Okay, I think I have to learn the max hit here. I have to know if... I can get one shot or not. So next hit's 68. So 34 is the number that I need to be thinking about. Okay. Let me adjust my hit points warning. Okay. So when my health falls below 34, I have to eat something, I think. Let's see if that works. I don't have the muscle memory to practice doing, re like, drinking a potion and then reactivating redemption. I have a small amount of time to do that. Okay, let's try this again. Be a lot easier, I think, if I had 99 hit points. I wonder if the floor does a consistent amount of damage that I can try to proc it off that. Yeah, I think doing redemption is just, it's too much attention. Um, so I might just try doing it for real. I'm not going to take this as a free way to do Corrupted Gauntlet because I don't think that's what this is. <laughs> it is a way to make Corrupted Gauntlet a little bit um, smoother. So I'm going to go in and try to get a staff and a bow and just try to fight it like I would fight it for real. Uh, I 
trying to decide if I want to bring, if I want to pray. I might actually. Um, I guess before I do that, I'm going to go into the regular gauntlet and I'm going to make a tier three bow and I'm just going to try to train my range up a little bit because it's 46 is a little low for this. See how much I can get in the regular gauntlet. Time runs out. Okay, so I'm going to do this train range in here. I got to change my strategy. I got to come back with um, double tap and I should still go ahead and get the staff first because the damage is better in general. Just giving this a try. I don't know if this is actually going to work. Let's we'll see, because I might end up just doing the fight normally, like putting on a timer and counting the attacks, and it would probably be good to practice for the live servers. I don't think this is actually going to be an effective training method for range, but I'm really curious to see what it's like, given that I the next best range strength I have outside of here is like... How much? It's uh, basically zero, huh? Bone bolts are plus 49, so yeah, it's like three times higher DPS. I guess worst case, uh, I could always farm the regular gauntlet. The drops of it are still pretty good, especially for my tier. I bet the absolute unit cheese works really well on the Calphite Queen. I'm gonna actually go try that. So her health is really low, and I can just go in there with a bunch of... Um, her health is low compared to this boss, I should say. <laughs> but I can just go in there with a bunch of Karambwans and just use Karambwans as currency to kill the Calphite Queen for free. What I don't know is if I have to kill her legitimately once for it to count or not. Go to level 1500. Take that. Okay, I got a couple range levels. That wasn't particularly worth it, but it was it was fun to experiment. That's what we're doing here is experimenting. All right, so the next thing I want to try is just attempting it for real, as if I was actually doing the Corrupted Gauntlet on the live servers. I still will not get any armor, because that will get me some juicy tasks. And this might become more reasonable once I get the next relic slot too. So let me pull up my gauntlet timer, which I haven't used in a while. I feel like I'm actually doing the fight decently well. I might lose just due to lack of stats, but it's kind of an interesting, like, you don't forget how to ride a bike sort of a thing, even though I haven't done Corrupted Gauntlet in four months or something because of Group Iron Man. <laughs> hey, I did it! That's really exciting. We get the Corrupted Gauntlet, defense doesn't matter, two. That's pretty exciting. Hey, and I could wear this gauntlet cape. Is that a bigger flex than the farming cape? Maybe. 31 emeralds. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to maintain that. That was really hard, but I was able to do it. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. Just as kind of a proof of concept sort of thing. And I think that gives me enough crystal shards that I could go open the elven crystal chest. So I'm going to do that real quick. I might need to have my stats at a certain level to make this in this key myself without having to pay somebody for it. Let me check. 70 crafting and smithing. So I've got 70 smithing. Crafting is going to be a little bit harder until I can get a whole bunch of sand. Uh... I did just get a boatload of renown. Let me see if there's any like quest packages I want to spend it on. It might make more sense to just use Zulcano at 30. Let me review some of the other Prif tasks. I'm going to try to get to 30 for Zulcano. Eats is in the mess hall. I can do that one. All right. All right, there's serve 20 pizzas in the mess hall. Just trying to get points right now. Renown in particular, but both would be nice. Oh, I wonder if I can make the papaya tree yet. I wonder if that's ready yet. Let me go look. Not yet. Okay. I'm going to enter the fishing guild. Or catch 100 sharks. I should be able to do that pretty fast. And I guess I could also do catch 100 dark crabs. Well, I don't have the wilderness elite diary to make that more reasonable. I think I can boost and do sacred eels also. Okay. So yeah, lots of stuff I can do. Keeping in mind the fact that I can boost. And now tier 6 is looking like it might be within reach, so... I don't know, I might I might try to make tier six happen. Enter the fishing guild. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna go down the list and uh catch what I can catch, I guess. I'm gonna try to read everything from the perspective of I can have a plus eight boost to this. Will that let me do anything new? There's an elite task for cooking a dark crab, so I'll probably go do that. That should be trivial. Is there one for an angler fish? That would be really nice. No, I don't think angler fish counts for anything. Oh well. Yeah, I'm just gonna look through the list and see if there's anything that's an elite task that I can get because they're worth so many points that might be enough to push me over. <laughs> so 
bunch of activities I'm going to do in Karen, but um, I don't want to have to do all the quests in Favor Grind for it, so I might go ahead and uh, unlock Kingdom Divided once I get the points from this. I know one of the goals is to get Zulkana unlocked, but I think that's going to ultimately get me to more points rather than um, Renown. Alright, let's catch a hundred shark. That took a little longer than I was expecting, but I'm going to try to cook the remaining sharks that I caught. Uh, I will burn some of them, but maybe I will not burn too many of them. I guess we'll see. I have a bit of an advantage on the ones I auto-cook because um, it's a 50% chance to cook, and I was pulling three at a time. So we'll see. I have a good chance that I'll screw it up, even with the mess hall over here. I went through the task list and I made a list of things I want to do. So we got catch 100 sharks, cook 100 sharks, complete floors of the Hollowed Sepulchre. Even if I'm not good at it, it seems if I can get down to the fourth floor that that's worth like, it's like six tasks or something stupid. Defeat a moss giant and Tyrannon and a water fiend, craft an air battle staff. I still need to get crafting levels for that even if I did the plus eight boost. Um, and other things that I'll talk about in a second. Hold on. I think I should be able to squeeze out 99 cooking here. Go for it. Something I want to do for the points, but big advantage is the uh, little trim my farming cape. <laughs> I'm going to actually be in range of 99, but I'll get really close here. And also I'll have so many Karambwans that I'll just be set on food for the rest of the game. I do think I want to do some cheese with uh, Absolute Unit for... Well, I guess I, I have to unlock the Calphite Queen, so I can't just go kill her. Never mind, actually. I got a miscellaneous fragment. That's cool. That's for a message in a bottle. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to hit 99. Um, I will probably do more AFK Karambwans once I have the Tier 6 Relic, because then I should be able to do Greedy Gatherer times 3 and... Max personal banker, which just sounds ridiculous. Okay, I'm done depositing all that. I just got cooking 97, so it's a nice stopping point. And I have 4,302 Karambwans in the bank. Um, I might be okay on food for a while. All right, back to business. Um, let me... Go ahead and do birdhouses and all that kind of stuff. I've been real bad keeping up with that. And then we're going to go back to working on tasks. It looks like I'm only like a few sharks short. And if we say nine burned sharks, that means I should only need to cook nine more, I think, to be able to get to the 100 threshold. So I might go back to the fishing guild and just cut a few more of them up. Uh, let's do stuff I was just talking about first, though. Oh, looks like I never got a slow use of cap on Fossil Island. I chopped a bunch of them, but didn't actually get a cap, so I might keep this set up on and go back there. I was trying to get some mahogany logs for birdhouses. That's why I have all those. Yeah, that should be fine, I think. Got a harvesting fragment, probably slash and burn. Yeah. I'm going to deposit all this real quick. I might turn on... Um, one that gives me more fossils. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be here. I'm just trying to get a single cell use up cap because there's a task for it. All right, this doesn't count as a bank. Whoops. Oh, I just got my first uh, Hespori seed. I might go plant that. And I think it, that the seed... Um, oh, I didn't have it equipped here. Bummer. I think the, the seed saver probably applies to that. I'm only going to get so many possible Histopori kills in the entire league, so I may as well try to maximize that. That's what I was planning to do earlier, but points became a problem. Not the best use of 25 Renown, but, you know, what are you going to do? Probably should have made it cheaper since it's limited boss. Oh, I like the little custom sprite icon when you... I didn't notice the animation had was different for each boss. That's cool. Um, The seed thing. It'd be funny if you could fight the boss three times with Greedy Gatherer. I know that's not how it works, but amusing to think about. I had more um, sell you steps to do, but I, I guess I'll do it later. Pray for seed savings here. Hey, it worked. Nice. 
And if I can get Chrono Seeds, I was really enjoying Chrono Seeds on my uh, my group Iron Man, because you can get more Hispori fights in. It's so mean. Like, I just unlocked this boss. It's been all this renown, and I'm not going to get to fight it for another day. All right, I'm going to do some herb lore here, and then I'm going to continue working on tasks. Oh, I wonder if I can do my cheese yet. I forget what level magic essences are. Cheese is going to the Gorak plane. Especially now that you can get it so that there's 100% savings. I think mixology goes all the way up to 100%. Let me double check really quick. Mixologist. Yeah. 100% chance. So that's going to be... An, I'm going to be able to get 25 million herbal or XP trivially with uh, with that. i got to wait until I max mixologist before I bother with it, though. So 140 per potions. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. And I'd get that relic for cleaning herbs for the life of me. Okay, back to tasks. Um, quite a few things I can do in Darkmire. Pocket some elves first. You get 50 successful pickpockets on elves. Shouldn't be too tricky. Did a lot of this on the live servers for crystal shards. Oh, I need one more thieving level. Okay, I think I can get it if I get some levels off of the, uh, the Vire. Whoa, four uncut rubies. That's actually really good. Uh, how often do they drop those? One in 26? Mm. There we go. Pickpocket of Iron 50 times, and I got the level up. Pickpocket on Elf 50 times. I love that that's only a 50 point task. A level 85 skill game. Jeez. Okay, um, good amount of money out of that. I'm going to do the enhanced crystal key or whatever. I have enough shards. I've been making these keys is really crazy XP with the multiplier. I think it's like 5,000 crafting and smithing XP. <laughs> Be nice to come back to later. Open the enhanced elven crystal chest. Got me dragon stone. I guess it refunded the crystal key. Okay. Um, I'll look down through the rest of my list here. I still have stuff to do in Darkmire. Fire, pickpocket of fire, and an elf. Still from a gem stall. I think there actually is one here. So from a gem stall. Not so bad. Find every memoriam crystal. This was a task. I, I did a terrain and um, trailblazer. Oh yeah, there's some stuff we need to kill in the Yorworth dungeon anyway, so I'll grab some magic here. <laughs> Sorry, that's my wife watching a TV show. Huh? Just explaining. Oh, it's up to no, it's okay. I'm going to defeat a moss giant and a water fiend. I'm going to do those two things now. Water fiends are more annoying than I thought. Okay. I got a miscellaneous fragment. That's cool. Hey, it's for the fossil one. Defeat a moss giant and tyrannin. Done. <laughs> God, so annoying. It's the second time I got one down to like one hit point. See if I end up having to pay anything for the gravestone. I didn't want to like change out my relics for this. I feel like I probably should have. If I can't get it this next attempt, I will just do that. It's still very annoying. There we go. And defeat a water fiend. And man, was it a pain in the butt. But we did it. Um, doing the memoriam devices. There we go. 50 points for that. Still got a bunch of stuff to do. There's Cook 100 Sharks. Glad I went out of the way to do that. Okay, let me uh, stare at my task list. I think I've got an easy one of go pet Frank. I'll do that. Pet Frank. He's a good boy. Nice. I got mine a Runite Ore in the Wilderness, which I'm going to see if it also gives me smelt a Runite Ore. It might both work, but I can't be 100% sure. go. I got both mine some runite ore and smelt the runite bar. Wonderful. 175 points. Very cool. I've got two more elite tasks that I should be able to do. Uh, cook a dark crab and dissect 50 sacred eels. Sorry, my wife's recovering from COVID. She's coughing. Need to catch 50 sacred eels. I thought that was going to be the task. Hmm, I must need a couple more. I think it's only 50. There it is. Dissect 50 sacred eels. Really good cooking XP there. 
All right, uh, 420 points to go. Uh, let's do Cook a Dark Crab. Oh, enter the resource area as a task. Cool. Shit, I forgot this was a lobster pot thing. I think there's another place I can catch them, though. Yeah, we're by Court Beast? Okay. Well, I got the task for walking in here. I'm sad they apparently nerfed the, um, used to be able to do tick manipulation, where you could have, like, a golem far away and target it with a spell and keep turning around every two ticks. It was how I got, um, fishing to 91. I would totally do it here, because I could, like, get 99 fishing almost immediately. But I guess they patched something, uh, having to do with the way the wilderness works, and it broke it. I'll probably get a kill on every wilderness boss with the absolute unit cheese. I might try that later. I guess I could do it after these dark crabs. I guess I have to assume that my reflected damage counts as damage for me. I'm not 100% sure about that. Oh my god. I fucked this up three times now. Got any dark fishing bait. Good way to get dark bait's probably going to be um, Onkos. Fight them for a bit. Hopefully be enough right there. Just in case there's a reward for just going into the wilderness God Wars dungeon. No. It's just getting an ecumenical key, I think. Alright, fourth or fifth time's a charm. Let's give this a shot. I have actually fought Callisto using vengeance damage primarily, so you do have to hit it once to get the kill credit. So maybe I'll try doing a tour of all the wildy bosses with absolute unit cheese. Cook a dark crab. There we go. I might hold out and stay here until I do catch 100, but I don't know if it's worth it at the low catch rate. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go try absolute unit cheese on these bosses. They all have so much less health than the Hun left that I know that it'll work. Well, I know they'll die. I don't know if they'll get kill credit if I don't do any normal damage to them, but... <laughs> all right, Venonatus first. Well, I guess I could get one shot by Venonatus, which would be bad. Could also do Callisto right after, we'll see. If we do Callisto first, I feel like I'm less likely to get, like, insta-jibbed by Callisto. Well, that's not gonna gut it. Die instantly. But it looks like I am gonna be able to kill it pretty easily. There's Callisto dead. Defeat Callisto. That's actually kinda easy. <laughs> I wonder if I should farm before everybody figures out this strategy. Um, I might. Once I get the triple drop rate, which I'm very close to. Like, it, this won't work quite as well on um, a couple of the bosses. Like, I don't think it's going to be quite so great on Zedion uh, because of the ads, but... Yeah, I feel like I can just corpse rush these until I get them. Bring some more food this time, though. Alright, I think I could just win all these by corpse rushing all these guys, so I might end up doing that, if nothing else. 200 blood runes. Oh, that's a pretty good drop. Yeah, I think I can, like, convert Karan Blondes into Wilderness boss kills. That's kind of awesome. All right, we'll see how Vedion goes. I'm not expecting it to go very well. Shit, this one's being attacked by somebody else. Hold on. Really glad they added that Iron Man warning in time for this league. It was awful last league. God, how many Vedions have been tagged by somebody and then not killed? Am I going to have to kill two of them? If I see the Hellhounds out, I probably know it's the wrong server. Someone just went through and got all of them to half health. That would be so annoying. Just kill it twice just to know that I have a server where I can get away with it. Yeah, so I think I can... Um, it's going to take several teleports, but... I'm just going to brute force this just to get the kill. Maybe I'll get a lucky Ring of the Gods. Wouldn't that be rad? If someone went through and, like, went to every server and spawned the Hellhounds. It's just such a dick move. All right, I'll use what supplies I have here. We do this with the Chaos Elemental, too. All right, phase one is done. We will not be doing Vidian for a long time, but I might do some of the other bosses. It's too bad this one is the most interesting drop. So it's the most annoying to do with this. I'm using his dying is actually preferable. Same deal if you uh, do this with... Callisto with the Vengeance. That's basically how I fought Callisto and got 50kc for the leaderboards. Could do this to get a single Corp Beast kill. I need to think if that's worth it. That's a lot of... I guess it's a single kill for a boss that I would not fight, realistically fight otherwise, for a very, very long time in the league if I ever fight it at all. So I might do Corp. Maybe. Though I bet 
some asshole has gone in and tagged it on every single server like they did with Vidion. Regardless, we'll end up doing the Chaos Fanatic, um, Chaos Elemental, and Scorpio this way. I like that I can turn my excess fishing into boss kills. It's kind of funny. Might do a couple more kills here once on all of these bosses once I have the uh, drop rate modifier up from this uh, passive upgrade. Easy peasy. 375 dark fishing bait. Okay. And I got a combat fragment. That's surprising. And then a master. All right. Oh, that's actually good. That uh, confers poison immunity. Yeah, okay. I will definitely use that. It's interesting though, like, I guess I'm out of uh, combat relics to get on melee. Maybe it all needs to be on range from this point forward. I'm just running over to the Chaos Fanatic real fast. I don't think I have enough healing to get a kill off, but we'll see what happens. Oh hey, Split Bark Body. That's actually kind of a exciting drop. Huh. Okay, I'll take that. Very cool. Okay, let's go do uh, Chaos Elemental and then probably Scorpia. I would be so hyped to get a dragon pickaxe out of this. I should see what the drop rate is on. I think Venonatus is the one I would probably go for. Venonatus. 1 in 56, that's for the pickaxe. It's pretty reasonable. I think I can kill uh, King Black Dragon too. Do that. I might need to go grab a anti-dragon shield so I don't get so nuked that I can't even heal myself. No one's being jerks to this Chaos Elemental, that's nice. So far I've been able to get a hit off on all of them, so I'm still not sure if you get kill credit if the only source of damage is absolute unit. I kind of don't want to test it. Oh yeah, Venom Master. Forgot that you can poison the Chaos Elemental. Is tier 3 of that an even better poison? Yeah, it starts at 7. That would be pretty good actually. Like a Dragon Pickaxe would be borderline guaranteed MVP at Zulcano. I'm hoping the uh, Greedy Gatherer works at Zulcano, so you can get a ton of Tephra really fast. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work. Very easy. Right, let's do Scorpia. Do I have to kill the three weak bosses in the same session? I'm not sure. I'll try it. But Guardians are concerning. That's where I might need to bring... Yeah, I have to bring some kind of healing or uh, mage to kill the babies. Poison immunity is already paying off. That's cool. Didn't know you could poison Scorpio. It's funny. Hey. Yeah, it seems like you have to kill all three in a single trip, which is rough. Save that for later. It should be easier for me to kill them whenever I get around to doing whatever that objective is. Just need 65 more points to tier 6. And I'll have an episode title for today. Let me review my list of tasks. I might have to get some deep cuts here. I'm going to get a free 50 points to equip a crystal shield. I'll pick that up from the seer. Although that might have a defense requirement that I don't know about. It seems like the kind of thing this game would do. I will take the crystal shield. Defense 70. I made the wrong choice. Probably could have Googled it. I don't think the crystal bow has a task, though. Oh, no, it totally did. That requires 70 range, which I also don't have, so... I'll go ahead and unlock Zulcano. We'll see if I can get some points out of that. Pay closer attention to the animation this time. I guess it's a static boss icon. That's still pretty cool. Alright, so I need a pickaxe. That's pretty much it, right? And some food. It would be funny if Absolute Unit worked on her, but it shouldn't. So I will not be bringing that. I will bring Greedy Gatherer, though. I wonder if Rudy 2D 2X Rooney's works. Put it on and try it. Wouldn't mind leveling it up a little bit. All right, so I don't need to spend a ton of time at Zulcano because a lot of the resources I can get from her I can get elsewhere. I just kind of want to get some tasks out of it. Fortunately, most of the tasks are for kills and gross. Just go on whatever the mass world is. It should be fine. I wonder if it's better to bring the craftsman and get the instant craft. It's better to do it this way. Hard task, defeat Sulcano. That's 50 points. 11 Runite bars, which is... I guess I'll do one more kill. 15 more points to tier 6. Oof, so close. Alright, there's our second kill. I'm gonna go try to get the rest of these points. So if I do get a drop here, I'll have a multiplier. Hey, I got MVP. That's how embarrassing. Fortunately, I got MVP on a pure essence drop. Oof. I'm making this way harder on myself than it needs to be. Um, trying to track down a task here. A couple tasks, maybe. One or two tasks. Come on, game. 
Light a torch. I could do that. That's one. I need to do two more easy tabs. Um, no, I could get it easily if I just unlock the rest of Karend. Totally afford. Yeah, let's just do it. I earned some of these. That was nuts. Ooh, praying respects. That's like the perfect random fragment to give me. Um, oh, auto buried. Oh, thank God. I think that's going to get me everything else that has to do with prayer. This is a lot of tasks completing right now. I get a decent refund for that. Hmm. Tier six items from some sources will be three times as common. When you get a Slayer task, you get to pick which one. The best possible random skilling fragment and a sixth slot, which potentially means I can stack triple ga greedy gatherer and personal banker, which is like a dream. Oh, you need four fragments for personal banker. I thought it was just three. Oh, that's so brutal. It's so close. I guess I can now do personal banker plus double gatherer for infinite AFK. So I might do that when I log off at Karambwans. Um That was the main set bonus interaction that I was looking forward to. So if I can't do that, it's not the end of the world. I'll just see what else I can do. I think it's officially time for Slayer now that I have full control over it. So let's do... Uh, Twin strikes. Oh, I activate two full set effects. I'll take that. Okay, it's full set effects. That's why it hasn't activated before. So knife edge and twin strikes are both activated. I'm trying to get my health low. I'm still on this dwarf task. All right. Um, that's just in the, the mine. Really excited that I got praying respects. I was really nervous about not having that one. This will make it easier to get everything else that procs off prayer. All right, so if I get to pick tasks from Turiel, what's the easiest task? Probably goblins, and I get clue scrolls. 45 goblins, Jesus. I should try to get a cannon because I can make a million cannonballs given how easily accessible steel bars are. Oh, hey, goblin champion scroll, that's kind of exciting. Well, guessing that's not a task, but yeah, it doesn't look like it. Still, pretty cool. Means I can get the music gate. All right, I'm gonna have to call it for the evening. That was a good day though. We got tier six. Um, tomorrow I might look into absolute uniting myself against Venonatus a whole bunch of times until I get the uh, the dragon pick drop. Cause it's like a one in 56 with this new drop rate modifier. That's actually pretty reasonable. Then I could take that to Zulcano, um, which could be fun. And I don't know if I wanna spend a ton of time at Zulcano cause it looks like there's not that many tasks there actually. Um, but, you know, do a little bit there. I think that could be cool. Uh, I guess... I think that's gonna be it. I don't think I'm gonna log off and AFK anything this time. Although, I'm definitely gonna want to do that for some of these fragments that would be way better if they were maxed out, like, um, Mixologist and the like. Let me just take Goblins again and make sure it's... Can I get a smaller task for the love of God? Only slightly smaller. That's fine. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Hope you're watching. Hope you're enjoying this so far. Sorry for all the Andrea suddenly laughing loudly and coughing in the background. <laughs> we tried something different today where she watched her show with headphones on, uh, but it meant that didn't know when to pause or come off mute.